Tonight, a legal fight is playing out over the bar scene in Five Points. A state senator is calling for more enforcement over food sales at area bars. News 19's Jenner Krasina has those details. That bar over there uh, was shut down. That bar across the street's gone out of business. One, we've shut one down over here. Uh, one over there is shut down. Democratic Senator Dick Harputlian is now spearheading change within the bar scene throughout Five Points. In South Carolina, only a restaurant or a hotel can serve liquor by the drink. And he says bars in the area are not doing that because some don't operate as restaurants or sell enough food. My neighborhood has been victimized by the drunk kids, the throwing up kids, the rambunctious behavior down here, illegal behavior down here. So as a neighbor, I got involved. According to the South Carolina Department of Revenue, businesses must primarily engage in the preparation and serving of meals, as well as have a kitchen and adequate food on site to serve 40 people a hot meal. Recently, several businesses went up for sale, but the Five Points Association president says they are not against bars. I think everybody just feels like people need to be in compliance with the law. There are a number of bars down here that you never see their names in the papers and they're in total, total in compliance with the law. I mean, Hardin Street may change from the number of bars it has, but that doesn't mean they're not going to be any bars in Five Points. For the owner of the Village Idiot, Brian Glenn. He says his main focus is food, so it isn't an issue for him, but says the law is more of a gray area than black and white. It's just confusing to, I think, everyone um, as to what, what the rules are and, and how people are supposed to operate their businesses. He says seeing other establishments up for sale leaves him scared for the future of Five Points. Seeing places uh, close their doors is, is a little bit scary. I mean, it's what is going to go there. There's... There's only, you know, another bar is not going to go into there. Is, is a restaurant going to go into there? Are they set up for it? And who are these landlords going to be able to get to pay these rents? Meanwhile, Harputlian hopes to see other types of storefronts. Not dive bars. If they, uh, these could be great retail, uh, uh, retail establishments or uh, restaurants, uh, real restaurants. Uh, they could be, where's an Apple store? Where's, I mean, all the sort of stuff that serve, would service the kids at the university. In Five Points, Jenna Kurzina, News 19, WLTX.